Hi guys, today I'm here to do my March wrap-up and my April TBR. March was a really good reading month for me. Almost all of my books got five stars and only one of them got four stars. So the first one that I read was Wildflower by Drew Barrymore. I gave this one four stars. I thought this was a fantastic autobiography. I really enjoyed seeing all of the pictures that she put in the book. I did check it out on audiobook, but I never got around to listening to it, so I just read it. But if you're a big fan of Drew Barrymore, I think you would really enjoy this. Next, I read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was a reread for me, but Through the Looking Glass was actually the first time I had read it. I gave both of these five stars. I just absolutely love this world, and I wish that there was more in it. Then I read The Reading Promise by Alice Ozma. I did a review on this, so I will link that down below. I gave this one five stars. Then for my Jane Austen book club that I'm in, we read Pride and Prejudice. This is also a reread for me. I gave this one five stars as well. I just really love Pride and Prejudice, and I really want to rewatch the miniseries on this. I absolutely love the miniseries, but I just kind of have to find time to sit down and watch like a six hour movie. Okay, the last one is Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This was my TBR jar book that I drew out. I actually haven't finished this yet because I am pre-filming this video, so it still is March. I'm not even halfway through it yet. It is moving really slow, but I am really enjoying it, so I'm hoping that I can finish this in the next few days before April. The next few books are for a couple readathons that I'm doing, so I'm going to quickly go through these, and that's Furiously Happy, The Jane Austen Book Club, Lord of the Flies, we are all completely beside ourselves, and Sea of Monsters. I will leave a link to both of the readathon videos down below that I did last week if you're interested to see those. This month's Jane Austen book that we plan on reading in our Jane Austen book club is Sense and Sensibility. I actually started this one last year and didn't get very far in it, so I will be restarting this one. I'm really excited to get to this because I haven't read any other Jane Austen beside Pride and Prejudice. And I absolutely love this movie, and I was really enjoying it when I was reading it last year, but I just didn't get around to finishing it. And my library, I just picked up When Breath Becomes Air. This is going around booktube right now, and it seemed really interesting to me. I do have it on audiobook, so I plan on listening to it when I'm at work. But I got the physical copy in case I don't have time to listen to it. I'm really excited to get to this, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be pretty sad. Then I also picked up from my library Firelight. It is the seventh book in the Amulet series. I own the first Amulet and I've read all of them, but it's been a couple years and I have been looking forward to this coming out and it finally came out. I fly through these. I really enjoy these graphic novels, even though they are middle grade. I'm hoping I can remember kind of what happened because it has been a few years, but I can't wait to get to this one. Finally, I'm going to do my TBR jar. These are all of my classics, if you didn't know. I'm kind of hesitant to get another one out of here because I haven't finished last month's yet, but let's see what I get. Ernest Hemingway in Our Time. Okay, so here's the book that I plan on reading this month. I don't really know what this is about, but it looks like it is a bunch of short stories. I haven't read any of these, so I'm really excited to get to them. It looks like it's going to be a really easy read, and I have been really wanting to pick up some more Hemingway. I absolutely love Hemingway, so I really can't wait to get to this. Okay, so that was my March wrap-up and my April TBR. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. I will leave a link to all of the books that I mentioned, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!